Welcome to the Crazy Hat Kevin. So today we're doing another video here, and it's in electrons and atoms. Another electron configuration and stuff. Bam! So electron configuration, orbital box diagram, and quantum numbers, valence electrons of iodine and barium. So iodine is Z of 53, barium is Z of 56. I want you to find those two elements on your periodic table. I want you to write out the electron configuration, then the orbital box diagram, and then I want you to restart the video. So here we go. Bam! So there's iodine. It's Z of 53. Hopefully that helps you out finding it on the periodic table very quickly. We're going to write out the electron configuration. We're going to write it in a noble gas notation. Noble gas notation. So we got krypton. That's Kr. That must be brackets, not parentheses. That's 5s2, 4d10, 5p5. Remember the d's are one less than the period in which they are found in. That's why it's a 4d and not a 5d. Okay. All right. Next thing here is the orbital box diagram using the noble gas notation. I got that krypton right there. Though I've got one box for the S-type orbitals, five boxes for the D's, and three boxes for the P's. I've labeled them appropriately as 5S, 4D, and 5P, just like the electron configuration is. Okay, we're going to place these electrons in their order as they appear. That's up, that's down. That's up, 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 up. Right? I've half filled them all parallel spins, and then I'm going to backfill them with the opposite anti parallel spin. Now, here's when the rubber meets the road, so to speak, and that is the five electrons. You must do them in order. That is one up, two up, three up, four, five, and that is I am done. That is the orbital box diagram of, of, of excuse me, iodine. Okay, now we should be able to get the number of valence electrons here for iodine as well. Okay, you should be able to get it from its location on the periodic table and the column, i.e. group, in which it is in, and that will tell you the number of valence electrons. But remember, valence electrons are the largest quantum number, S and P, of the same largest quantum number. So what's the largest quantum number here? One, two, three, four, five. It's a five. How many fives do you see? I see two fives. Are they S and P? Yes, they are. So I'm going to add the two S and P of the same 5 and a 5 principal quantum number up together, and that will give me what I want. Okay, and that is 7 valence electrons. Okay, hopefully you see with the 2 and the 5, summing them up, and that's 7, and you should also be able to find that on the periodic table because it's group 7. I have one unpaired electron, and that means that this is paramagnetic. That means that uh, uh, iodine is attracted to a magnetic field. Okay, now I'm going to circle, circle an electron, and we're going to find out four quantum numbers to represent that electron. You should be everywhere right here before you restarted the video, but you need to know which electron I'm circling to write the four quantum numbers, because I'm not doing the last electron. Okay, so I want you to pause the video again, write the set of four quantum numbers to represent the L, sorry, excuse me, the N, the L, the M sub L, the M sub S values of that circled blue electron, then restart the video. So here are the set of four quantum numbers to represent that, okay? So it's in the 5P type orbital, that is a 5, that's why the N is 5, because it's in 5. Okay, the L is 1 because it's a P type orbital. And if I label these boxes with the middle box as a 0, to the right would be a 1, to the left of that would be a negative 1. It's in the middle box, that's M sub L of 0. And this is a downward facing electron that's negative, that's why it's negative 1 half for the M sub S. Hopefully that worked out well for you. Okay, let's do barium. Barium is Z of 56. So um, what I want you to do is use the periodic table, write out the electron configuration for barium using the noble gas notation. Okay, and that's what I got right there. I got xenon and then 6s2. Now what you're going to do is write out the orbital box diagram of barium also thereafter. Okay, so um, this is a noble gas notation. I did mention that already before. There's xenon, and this is 6s, and now I'm going to place the electrons where they go. That's one up, then one down. That's the maximum number of electrons I can fit in there. They are anti-parallel. Uh, this is diamagnetic. Okay, so at the end of each of the S, the P's, the D's, and the F's, they're all diamagnetic once they are filled in all the boxes completely. That is, barium is not attracted to a magnetic field. OK, 
Okay, there are two valence electrons in barium because it's in the alkaline earth metals, or group two. That's why there are two valence electrons. It's the largest quantum number, six. And of the sixes, there's a, only an S, no P. There's two electrons in the 6S2. That's why two valence electrons. Okay, I'm going to circle an electron right here. And now you're going to pause the video and write the set of four quantum numbers. That's N, L, M sub L, M sub S of that circled electron. Okay, and here they are. Here are the set of four quantum numbers to represent that circled electron. Okay, so this orbital box diagram shows an N of 6. It's a type of orbital of an S. Therefore, the L value is zero because it's an S-type orbital. There's only a single box in S-type orbitals. Therefore, the M sub L value is zero. It's an upwards-facing electron. Therefore, it's going to heaven, and that's why it's positive one-half for the M sub S value. Okay? Hopefully, that really worked out well for you. Redo those two to make sure that you totally understand that. Okay? All right. That was another Crazy Hat Chemist video, and I have another... Uh, historical hat. Again, this hat comes from my grandmother. Um, she has since passed away, but I'm sure she wore this at some very fancy ball or maybe a wedding or something like that. I'm not really sure where she wore this, but in remembrance of my grandmother on my father's side. Give me a thumbs up if you like that video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you next time. Bye now.